Welcome to this complete Venice, Italy travel guide. Picture a city where the streets are made of water, where boats replace cars, and where every turn reveals a scene straight from a postcard. This is Venice, a city unlike any other. Nestled in the northeast of Italy, Venice is a stunning archipelago of 118 islands, knitted together by over 400 bridges spanning its iconic canals. It's a city that floats on water, a marvel of engineering and a testament to human ingenuity. Its unique geography is complemented by its distinctive architecture, a blend of Gothic and Byzantine influences that tells tales of a rich and intricate history. From the grandeur of St. Mark's Basilica to the vibrant colors of Burano Island, Venice is a city that captivates and enchants. So tie up your gondola, adjust your Venetian mask, and prepare to be charmed. Pack your bags, because we are about to embark on an unforgettable journey through the floating city. First on our list is the majestic St. Mark's Basilica. A testament to the grandeur of Venice, this basilica is more than just a place of worship. Its historical significance is deeply woven into the fabric of the city. Constructed in the 11th century, it stands as a symbol of Venetian wealth and power. The basilica's architectural style is a harmonious fusion of East and West, a perfect blend of Byzantine and Gothic influences. Its five bulbous domes are reminiscent of the Hagia Sophia in Istanbul. Inside, the basilica is adorned with opulent Byzantine mosaics, covering an area of about 8,000 square meters. These golden mosaics tell biblical stories, casting a warm glow on the intricately carved marble floors beneath. The Paladoro, an altarpiece studded with thousands of gems and precious stones, is another notable feature. This golden wonder is a sight to behold, adding to the basilica's ethereal charm. A visit to Venice would be incomplete without stepping into this architectural marvel. Next, we navigate through the iconic Grand Canal, leading us to the charming Rialto Bridge. As Venice's main waterway, the Grand Canal has been the city's lifeline for centuries, bustling with gondolas and vaporettos. This sinuous canal is flanked by stunning palazzos and mansions, their facades a testament to the city's rich history and architectural prowess. Our journey brings us to the Rialto Bridge, an enchanting structure that has graced the Grand Canal since the 16th century. Its distinctive design, featuring a single span stone arch, is a marvel of Renaissance engineering. The bridge isn't just a pretty sight, it's also a bustling hub of activity. Adjacent to it, the Rialto markets burst with life, offering everything from fresh produce to Venetian specialties. The Grand Canal and Rialto Bridge aren't just scenic spots, they're living, breathing parts of Venice, steeped in history and local culture. These symbols of Venice are a testament to the city's enduring charm. Our journey continues to the Doge's Palace and the Grand Piazza San Marco. The palace, once the residence of the Doge of Venice, is a masterpiece of Gothic architecture. This palatial structure served as the nerve center of the Venetian Republic, housing the city's court and prisons and the Doge's apartments, a tour through its grand halls is like stepping back in time into the heart of Venetian power and politics. Just a stone's throw away is Piazza San Marco, the beating heart of Venice. This open-air square has been the city's social, political and religious hub for centuries. Framed by the Procuratie buildings and the iconic St. Mark's Basilica, the piazza is a living, breathing testament to Venice's grandeur. Whether it's the orchestras playing in the historic cafes, or the flurry of pigeons taking flight, the piazza captures the essence of Venice in every moment. These landmarks are a window into Venice's glorious past. Now it's time for a quintessential Venetian experience, a gondola ride. Picture this. You're gliding smoothly through a labyrinth of enchanting canals serenaded by a gondolier clad in a traditional striped shirt and straw hat. These gondoliers are not just skilled boatmen, but custodians of a centuries-old tradition, each stroke of their oars echoing the city's rich history. As you pass beneath ornate bridges and peer into hidden corners of Venice, the gondola ride transforms into a journey back in time. The world seems to slow down, the hustle and bustle fading into a serene rhythm of water lapping against the boat. There's a certain romance in the air, one that's been captured in countless movies and novels, and you're living it. From the grandeur of the Grand Canal to the intimacy of the smaller waterways, each turn reveals a new facet of Venice's charm. In the end, one thing is clear. 
A gondola ride is a must for every Venice visitor. Next, we take a ferry to the vibrant islands of Murano and Burano. Murano is a sparkling jewel in the Venetian lagoon, famed for its centuries-long tradition of glassmaking. A fascinating spectacle to behold, where artisans breathe life into molten glass, transforming it into dazzling masterpieces. Each piece a testament to the island's rich history and the remarkable skill of its craftsmen. A short boat ride away lies Burano, an island that seems to have been dipped in a painter's palette. Its houses, a riot of colors, reflect cheerfully onto the tranquil canals, creating a picture-perfect scene. But Burano isn't just about the colors. It's also renowned for its intricate lacework, a craft passed down through generations. A stroll through its streets reveals delicate lace creations adorning shop windows, each piece a labor of love and patience. These islands provide a delightful escape from the city's hustle and bustle. Art lovers rejoice. Our next stop is the Peggy Guggenheim Collection. A haven for modern art lovers, the museum nestles in the heart of Venice in an 18th century palace that was once Peggy Guggenheim's home. This is where art and history intertwine, creating a remarkable experience for all visitors. The museum boasts an enviable collection of modern art brimming with works from the greatest artists of the 20th century. Picasso, Dali, Pollock, you name it, they're all here. It's an astounding testament to Peggy Guggenheim's dedication to the arts. This remarkable woman, an avid collector and patron of the arts, committed her life to fostering creative talent and preserving their masterpieces for posterity. Her collection is a testament to the vibrancy and variety of modern art, providing a fascinating glimpse into the artistic revolutions of the past century. This museum is a treasure trove for modern art aficionados, so take your time, soak in the beauty and let the art move you. Finally, let's dive into Venice's unique shopping scene with its traditional Venetian masks. These masks, with their intricate designs and vibrant colors, are more than just ornamental. They carry a deep history, rooted in the city's annual Carnavale festival. Dating back to the 13th century, these masks were worn to ensure anonymity in a society where class and profession were crucial. Each mask is a work of art painstakingly crafted by skilled artisans, or mascherere, who have been perfecting their craft for generations. From the flamboyant Bauta to the haunting Medico della Peste, each mask type carries its own story and symbolism. The craftsmanship involved in making these masks is a sight to behold. Imagine layers of paper mache carefully shaped and molded, then adorned with gold leaf, feathers and gemstones. Truly a testament to Venetian creativity and tradition. A Venetian mask makes for a perfect souvenir to remember your trip. It's not just a purchase, it's an experience, a piece of Venice's vibrant history to take home with you. As we conclude our journey through Venice, we take a moment to marvel at the rich tapestry of experiences this city of waterways offers. We began our adventure at the iconic St. Mark's Basilica, a masterpiece of Byzantine architecture. Remember the gold mosaics shimmering in the light, telling tales of a bygone era? Truly a sight to behold. Then we navigated the Grand Canal, the city's aquatic artery teeming with gondolas and vaporettos. We crossed the Rialto Bridge, an architectural marvel offering us a panoramic view of the city's pulsating life on water. Our journey took us next to the Doge's Palace, a symbol of Venice's power and opulence in the medieval era. The grandeur of Piazza San Marco, the city's living room, left us in awe. The square, brimming with history and life, was a spectacle in itself. We then experienced the quintessential Venetian gondola ride, serenaded by the soft lapping of water against our boat as we meandered through the narrow canals. It was a ride through the city's heart, under the low bridges, and into the soul of Venice. Our exploration of the Murano and Burano Islands, famous for their glass-making and lace, was a colorful detour. The islands, a kaleidoscope of brightly painted houses, were a delightful contrast to the grandeur of mainland Venice. The Peggy Guggenheim Collection, a haven for art lovers, was our next stop. The fascinating collection of modern art housed in a palazzo on the Grand Canal was a fitting tribute to the city's artistic heritage. Our last stop was a foray into the world of Venetian masks. Each mask, a work of art, whispered tales of the city's legendary carnivals and masquerade balls. With its rich history, stunning architecture and unique experiences, Venice is a city that promises to leave you spellbound. 
Until next time, ciao.